Hi, what's up? I'm Simon HC and welcome to our next very exciting lecture. Today we have post-production techniques in the house. So we'll take care of our images inside of Photoshop and we'll use also some extra channels from V-Ray and V-Ray frame buffer to improve our images. Let's jump into Photoshop so we can get the idea about my workflow. And uh, right here we can see an image that has been straight saved from V-Ray frame buffer without any post-production. And we can see it's not looking really good. So we have here an overexposed area in the middle because the vignetting has been pretty strong inside of V-Ray physical camera and we can see the edges are pretty dark and that's cool but we need to take care over the, this area and in the end I have came up with this result and uh, the difference is pretty obvious and I like much better the end result you can decide on your own but still I have done a lot of work and I'd like to show you step by step how I have achieved these effects so I will disable a bunch of layers I have created here so let's go just to the bottom now let's leave the first row rendering. And the first thing I have done is I have added a layer by duplicating the layer and I have just changed the colors and with some help of levels uh, I have uh, actually darkened the area right here. And uh, in the next step I have just duplicated the layer and with some color balance I have changed uh, also the colors, so that's pretty easy. So I can go just filter, let's choose the layer. So filter, color balance, or you can choose Control B on your keyboard to enable this option. Sorry, all right here, or that no no, no adjustment. I'm using some of the, uh, the keyboard shortcuts and I'm just lost when I need to find it somewhere in the panel. So there we go, control balance. And the next step was adding the sky. And of course I have used uh, my alpha channel, as you can see right here, to add the sky. Once I have done that, I have added some more orange color to the interior and to do this I have also created another channel and you can see here is a mask I have created from a raw refraction channel straight from V-Ray frame buffer and I will show you these channels during our step-by-step -step, uh, production in Photoshop so don't worry we'll get back to it and uh, the next step was adding some more color color correction so it's more like brown right here I was maybe in some dark mood so that's why I chose chosen this dark colors and uh, to be not so evil I had added some more blue colors to have a more obvious contrast between the orange lights inside of the building and uh, kind of dusk atmosphere outside so a bit more glow here in this area on the left edge and the next step was adding some oops adding some more light to the trees sorry my mouse is just behaving weird and uh, to do this I have used just a simple dodge to also press O on your keyboard and you know you can just simply paint on it can choose the dark tones and it's gonna work perfectly fine and the next step of course was another slightly colored correction because it was kind of too blue so you know I have changed it just a little bit so we have here the sky correction uh, the facade correction then I have added a bit more light in the area where I had the, the garden lights I have also darkened the sewer, just kind of too white for my taste. 
and I have increased the uh, hue saturation on the taillights of my fast passing by cars and in the next step let's find out yeah we have added some glows to the lights and I will show you also how to how to do this and right here a bit more contrast some orange colors right here and uh, let's go more vignetting bit blue on the right corner bit darker and that's the end so as you can see we did a lot of layers one above the other and uh, that's a pretty cool process I, I really enjoyed to do this so let's start with a fresh image and I will now delete all the layers and I see you in few seconds in the second section where I will show you the road channels saved from V-Ray frame buffer and we will try to go quickly through this whole process and we will add even some more details because I will show you how to easily create a light trail created by a car passing very fast when you have the shutter speed set to be uh, very slow. So. I see you in a few seconds, guys.